Hey y'all, Miss Helen here. Welcome to Country Funk. Today we're making puff pastry appetizers. Yay! <laughs> Hey, Miss Helen. Hey. Well, hey. hey there, Stanley. Hey, what's wrong? Did you know that when you buy a box of puff pastry, it comes with two of them? Well, that that's good, right? More food. Well, I was only expecting one, so I was only planning for one. But I guess we can come up with stuff to put in them. Well, what do you what do you need the puff pastries for? I'm going to a party later tonight. Oh, but okay. we've got two of them. We yeah. can make an extra one, and you can take some to your game night. Yeah, all right. I know. I know my friends are like that. It's they sound. always like your food. Oh well, that's nice. That's nice to hear. I like to know when people like my food. All right, we're gonna go ahead and unfold these. Let's so, see. So, what do you use puff pastry for? I never seen these. I mostly make it to use appetizers to take to places so that there's a little bit of everything and people can have what they want. I like appetizers. That yeah. means I get to eat while I'm waiting for my food so I can eat. I, right. I sound hungry or greedy. <laughs> you always sound hungry. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started here. I'm going to cut this into three sections. Okay. This stuff ain't hard to work with. You just got to work fast so it doesn't get too hot or too cold. Uh, it's that, finicky like that. That that sounds delicate. It is It is delicate, and it's actually ch usually cheaper and easier to just buy it than it is to make it homemade. Is that what you did? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> I went to the store, and I bought it, and it came with two. All right. All right. Well, we're going to start with some sausage rolls. Ooh. I, think, I think that's what they call them in the UK. They take some puff pastry and they take a sausage and they roll it up and they cut it up and then they sell it in the store like we do roller dogs here. Okay. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Something well, different. I got I got these ones from, uh, these are little lamb sausages. I don't remember where I got them. <laughs> We're going to cut one of them up. I'm going to move back. That's a big knife. Oh, it ain't that big. It's fine. What do you think? You think we ought to cut this in half or to thirds? Uh, thirds. Thirds? Then, then we get more. Well, right. more people can more try More people can try yeah. That's right. That's a good point. All right. Oh, goodness. That one's still attached. Make sure you cut all the way through. Oh, my goodness. I'm having a day today. That neighbor was up all night. Practicing his drums. Oh, no. I thought you liked rock music. I do like rock music, but it oh, four in the morning. It, it's time oh, to call yeah. it quits, son. That, that's just rude. Well, I guess he's got to practice. I, he can practice what, during the day. He could practice during well, the day. I, I he ain't working right now, but you sleep a lot during the day. I think he knows that, so maybe that's why he was doing it. Who knows? Next time, I'll just break out my accordion and start jamming with him. <laughs> I hope I'm doing this right. Y'all in the UK are going to have to let me know. Party. Yep. It's just a little get-together. We don't plan on being up until 4 in the morning playing drums, that's for sure. I don't think anybody plans on being up till 4. But sometimes, with a good party and good friends, guess what? I guess it's it just 6 a.m. and nobody knows what's going on, and you gotta work the next day. <laughs> ah! You know, I got some, uh, I got some leftover cheese ball. Okay. I think I'm gonna take that. That's that's the uh -huh. one with the cream cheese and onions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I, I took some. I had some leftover spring mix, so I pulled out all the spinach bits. And I put that in there, and I mix that up, and we're going to spread that on there, and we're going to make some pinwheels. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's just use this one long piece. Well, I don't know how I want to do this. Maybe we should use these little leftover pieces here. Okay. The way it's not, what not. That's right. And they'll, they'll spin up nice. Hang on. I got to look down here. <clears throat> like you're doing good. You don't mean me to do all this. No, I'm just spinning up some pinwheels. 
Looks good. Smells good. I don't think I say that enough. It always smells good in your kitchen. Thank you. Okay, we finished the pinwheels, right? Yep, we got our pinwheels ready to go. Um, now we're going to do... I had some baby bell cheeses, the little mini ones. I love those mini baby bell cheeses. Oh, yeah. You can just open one up and eat it whenever. And somebody gave me one of them little samplers. Yeah. For the holidays with all the little jellies and stuff in it. And I had no idea what I was going to do with some of them. Well, now I got an idea with what I'm going to do with some of them. What, what kind gonna, of jelly is it? I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, red pepper jelly. Red pepper jelly? Yep, I'm going to put it in the bottom there. I'm going to throw one of them baby bells over it, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Okay. All right. So so is this considered uh, sweet or savory? I'm not sure. I would. Well, it, I, that's a good question. We'll have to Google it. I think we just have to taste it. That's a good point. I need a spoon. Okay. I can help. I, I, I help. Okay, you can help. I'll start unwrapping the cheeses. <laughs> I said I help. You need help? <laughs> no, I didn't say that yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> I got it. Oh, thank you. This was one of the first recipes I learned in home hack in high school. And I thought that was pretty funny because I was already working as a cook when I was taking home hack in high school. The, the red pepper and, and cheese? Yep. She said it made a good appetizer for cocktail hour. I don't think people do cocktail hour anymore, do they? I don't think teenagers in high school are supposed to be having cocktail I mean, hour. Who teaches that? That is an that is an excellent point that I never actually thought about. <laughs> All right. We got three little cheeses in there on three little pepper jellies. We got an extra cheese if we want to do another one at the end. Or we got extra. I could eat it. I could just eat it. <laughs> they're good. Baby bells are real good. They're, they're a nice snack. When, when I can't find you, like... When you're in the kitchen or mm -hmm. out in the garden, sometimes I'll I just grab a baby bell. You go in the kitchen and grab one of my baby bells? Is that where they keep going? Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. You're welcome to my baby bells anytime you want one. Smush those out a little bit. It helps it stick, I think. <sighs> yeah, it does. My goodness, that does smell good, though, doesn't it? That, that's so many smells. We got the sausage, got and we got there. the cheese, and then the cheese ball. Well, pinwheels now. It's neat how you can recycle that. Well, it already had all the stuff I needed in it, and I just added, I think, the spinach, yeah. All right, we got our three little baby bells. I still got a whole other puff page. That's all I planned on doing. Was this the one page? Other... Or one sheet? Yeah, I still got a whole other puff pastry over here. Okay. All right, well, let's put that in the sink over here. All right, we'll figure this out. Okay. All right. Let, let, let me take a minute. I'll go oh. check the fridge and see if I can find anything. Uh, see if we got any leftover cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream okay. cheese, yep. While we're waiting on him, I went ahead and I prepped our pan. I just threw a piece of parchment over it, mostly because it makes nothing stick, and I don't like doing dishes that much. I'm going to go ahead and start putting these on the tray while we wait for him to get back. We Put may them need, on the tray? I am. We may need another tray. I don't know how much these puff up. Uh, is that why they're called puff pastries? That is why they're they, called They puff. really puff? They really puff up. All right. So it really will look like a roller dog. A little bit. Okay. Oh, it's that funny shaped one. Okay. Well, hey, in the fridge, I found some chunky applesauce. I And may, maybe some... Well, I found it, I think, is cream cheese. It, 
It smells like cream cheese, but I, I, I don't know. I'll check it. You, you'll have to look down here. We and don't see have any applesauce. Oh, you're talking about leftover pie filling. That's perfect. Pie filling yeah, is perfect. Do make, you make pies out of this? We're gonna make some little apple turnovers, little mini apple turnovers. Oh, that's genius. All right. Okay. Uh, you said you found cream cheese. We got cream cheese. Yeah, and it's down here. Is it the cream cheese that I used for bagels the other day? Yeah. That's cinnamon cream cheese. Oh, ooh, that's going to be good, too. You want to try it? Yeah. All right, we'll try it. Let's right there. See. I got some idea. We're going to put some of this all down the middle of one of these in this cream cheese. Okay. And then we're going to put one all down the middle with the apple pie filling, the leftover pie filling. And then we're going to uh, put them in and we're going to kind of treat them like little butter braids. Ooh. Okay. That, that's a lot of things you can do just with puff pastry. There's a lot of things you can do with just puff pastry. That's a little thick. Ooh, I hope you like a lot of flavor. I like it. Oh my, <laughs> I got quite a lot there, didn't I? Well, it, as long as it works for you. Let's see. All right. And then... Uh, you said but, you had apple. Here. Yeah, it's down here. Okay, I'm just going to grab that. And then we're going to put some of that all down the middle there. Ooh, that smells good. Yeah. <laughs> I let my nose lead me around the, the refrigerator. You didn't find anything bad in there, did you? I found this jar that said, uh, uh, onion chutney, oh. and man, that was strong. I thought about using that with some of them baby bells, but I opened that jar and I thought, no. <laughs> okay, so it's not just me. No, it ain't just you. We're I gonna... mean, I'll try it. I'll try anything. All right, then. Let's see. I think the way they do this is they just cut little... We'll see how it goes, y'all. Okay. I'm just going to pull these over on top of this, and hopefully that stays. If not, should still taste pretty good. <laughs> I bet it does. Everything you make tastes good. Thank you. Maybe man. it's just because you know not to use onion chutney. Eww. I'm sure there's people who like onion chutney and know what to do with it. I am not one of those people. I think it might be better if we cut this one after. Okay. Um, you're you're going to make the braid first? Yeah, we'll just put that on there, and then we'll cut it once it's done. That way, okay. all the stuff doesn't eek out of it. Um, that's what I'm afraid of happening. Okay. It's awful small. I maybe should have rolled it out a bit. But I guess we'll see. All right. We're just, oh, goodness. Wish me luck. Oh. <laughs> I just got to get out of the way. I got it. You're fine. Okay. Why don't we fold these over and crimp them up the side? Okay. That sounds good. All right. You got Just a, a finger crimp or... We could make it fancy. Okay. What do you need? Um, I got a pastry crimper somewhere. Let me see if that's in the house. While he's looking for that, I went ahead and cut these up into little bite-sized pieces, but on the tray because I was afraid that the whole thing would fall apart if I did it any other way. Oh, hey, find it? I did. It's down here. Okay. Where? See, right, oh, no, no. Well, no, that ain't it. Over there. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right. We're just going to make these look pretty. We're going to cut the ends off. Okay. I mean, we might still throw them up there and bake them just to... Have them, because waste not want not, right? Yeah. All right. And we got 
these little pretty bits and i'm going i think i'm just gonna cut them like little raviolis okay right yeah how many think you eat let's see little let's little, little puffs little, little. Oh, 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 oh hey those look like ravioli a little bit they're a little skinnier than raviolis but yeah basic still same bite basic size. shape that's right that's what we're looking for we're gonna put those on our baking tray here all right i don't know how, how many this made all right and then we got just one other little piece here okay and you know i think i'm just gonna cut that with the same thing except i'm gonna do it in little triangles and then we'll make little puffs out of them with uh powdered sugar and some cool whip left over from pies okay all right that sounds good all right and, and they puff up still right they, they don't still make... puff up and yep yeah, that's right okay let's see do you want to do it's hard to tell because it's all flat now do you want to do little strips little strips or L little, little triangles? strips or little triangles i think triangles look neater how many strips can you get it'd be easier to eat oh yeah R robbie has a little bit of trouble holding things sometimes so i think something better for him would be great let's do eight little strips okay um, we can put a little two little dollops of stuff on them okay all right we got yeah them. especially if we're gonna have whipped cream before um, i put these on my tray you know what i'm gonna do what you need i'm gonna sprinkle the cream cheese and the apple ones with a little bit of cinnamon sugar oh yeah they already got it on the end. Can you open this for me, babe? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Did you get it? I did. All right. Can I have that, please? Thank you. All right. All right. We can go ahead and uh, shake that on the tops of those. That way you know you're getting a dessert one. Oh, okay. Yeah. And if you don't like cinnamon, you know right away. That's right. You can smell it. Oh, goodness. cinnamon sugar just a little bit clumpy. Right. did you just close that i can close it i can't get it open well now i gotta open it again well i it was already starting to get icky all right i think we got them we just gotta pop these in the oven and we'll see what happens all right looks good see you in a bit Hey, Miss Helen. So, sorry I took so long. Oh, that's okay. I see I'm just you wrapping up. up here. I, I had to get things ready. That's okay. Um, We got our savory appetizers over here on little plates, and I'm just finishing up the dessert ones right now. Okay. I took uh, some that leftover Cool Whip. Yeah. And I put it in a baggie. And okay. That just makes it easier than spooning it in. How, how's it come out? Pretty good. Like a little piping bag almost, but disposable. Oh, okay. We're going to put that over there. Okay, now I got another trick here. Okay. I took a little bit of powdered sugar. Okay. And I took some cocoa powder, and it tastes like kind of like ch hot chocolate mix. Okay. But then I put it in my, my tea ball, and we're going to use that for the top, but then I got another surprise for the centers. Ooh, hard candies? It's a broken peppermint I found in the bottom of my purse, but it's going to make it taste more like a hot <laughs> chocolate dessert, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So we're going to sprinkle this. Okay. Yeah, it was already broken, sitting in the bottom. Peppermint, hot chocolate. Bottom of my purse. Okay. Since, in the... since last week's church service. Uh, I always take mints with me to church. Okay. You, you sure that's as old as it is? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, last time I bought Starlight Mints was last week before church. Okay. It's, it's not... Uh... Oh, goodness, no. It's not been sitting in there for years. Okay. I ain't even had that purse for years. You know, ribbon candy. Those, <laughs> I do know about ribbon candy. All right. Well, we got our little peppermints on there. Let's go ahead and top them. Okay. And then we're just going to take our little tea ball here filled with the powdered sugar and the cocoa. Yeah. And we're just going to bounce that over oh, the wow. top. Oh, wow. And cool. it looks like snow, doesn't it? Yeah. And there you go. Oh, I can smell it too. That that powder that smell. That cocoa goes everywhere. Finishes up our little dessert tray. We got yeah. one for you to take and one for me to take. All right, but but we get to try something now, right? Oh, sure. I got a little 
couple little samples for us on the other side there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and we'll wrap this up, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, y'all. Ooh, my party's going to love this. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh.